this hotel that we're staying at is insane. We kind of messed up. This is like fancy you know, spring water, but like, and because we can't really just afford to eat all the crap and we're gonna be here till Sunday. Basically we have a couple hours tomorrow morning to basically figure out our carnivore for the week. All right, so in this video series, we're gonna talk about and show how me and my team went to Nashville for a business conference and managed to kind of stay and jump on the carnivore diet. We got pretty creative. We recorded some of our moments in the room. What are we here for? We're here for the Funnel Hacking Conference. Oh shoot, this looks legit. They have their own hotel key. This place is huge. Yeah. Hey Kurt, what you up to? Man, I'm trying to find a grill for us. We uh, we kind of messed up. We did not plan our trip, and this hotel that we're staying at is insane. We just went to the grocery store there, and the water bottles were like $5. I mean, this is like fancy spring water, but like, I can get like a bottle of spring water in glass for like less than two bucks at the Whole Foods. Everything here is insanely expensive. We're kind of at a point now where we're just trying to like make shift. So I've got my laptop up. We're looking at options on Whole Foods Prime Now, Amazon Prime Now. We're in Nashville traveling. We got my team, we got you Eli, we got Matt here. <laughs> That's That's sexy, sexy to get <laughs> um, And there's a Publix, there's a Walmart. Basically we have a couple hours tomorrow morning to basically figure out our carnivore for the week and we're gonna be here till Sunday. So we wanna like dial it in because we can't really just afford to eat all the crap and we don't wanna deviate from the plan. I brought liver jerky, which I made last night. Where so we got some of our organs in the fridge right here. Yeah, you got stopped by the TSA. And then I, and then I, brought, I brought a big bag of fat. That's good for just one so person, maybe you. So we're good for fat, you know, we but. can, this'll this will cover most of us if we just kind of dial it back a little bit. And then here's the liver. Uh -huh. So, you know, that's good. But we need some meat and yeah. we need like we have like five more days we need like grass-fed meat and we need like a low cost option so we're you guys were brilliant you guys came up with the idea of using a foreman grill uh -huh. and or i always thought plate. we need a hot plate with a pan uh -huh. which is just i think we could find like a, a portable grill they have a 25 dollar option on on uh on Amazon Prime now. And this Foreman grill serving, four serving Foreman grill, it has a removable plate grill. It's 2496 and you can like plug it in on just 110 volt. It looks legit, like it could be really simple. It could fit into the suitcase. It could clean pretty well. So I think we're gonna try this cause you guys don't wanna go raw. And I'm like, you, I should, just, you should just do grass fed raw, but. But we wanna have a seat. But not everybody's a freaking carnivore to the, yeah. Like they don't bleed yeah. carnivore the way I do, so. I'm a rookie. It's a, it's, it's a challenge. It's a challenge well, working Neither do I, I mean, I don't want to eat like completely raw. Yeah, so. I like it a little salted and seared. I've got, I've got some sardines too, so we could, you know, we could really supplement that, but. Yeah. It's gonna get kind of boring real quick. Oh, we could get grass-fed hot dogs. Ooh. Those are solid. Nice. We should definitely get those. those. Those are easy. Last, we, could, we, could, we, could, we could throw the eggs on the grill too. I totally forgot about those. Those are actually a really good value and they're super comfortable. We, we did that when we were going to uh, the Cascades yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. or the uh, Olympics. Yeah, so anyways, we're gonna figure this out, but that's kind of the, the struggle, if you will. We're thinking about maybe grilling them where? In the bathroom, I'll <laughs> put the fan on, yeah. Yeah, so that's how I make my tradition. Honestly though, if, if Prime Now delivers here, we could really grill hot dogs in yes. here. And that would be easy and delicious. Uh -huh. And if they're grass fed, yeah, everyone's pretty, healthy. pretty happy. We could, we could do that for like a week and we'd be fine with our liver jerky and our fat. Nice. Yeah, no, it's good, I'm excited. What do we got here today? Dude, look at it. This is crazy. So Whole Foods Prime now came to this massive hotel, delivered to the lobby. We got grass-fed, grass-finished, organic hot dogs. Eight bucks. <laughs> eight bucks for eight links. These bad boys, each one of these is gonna give you seven grams protein, nine grams fat, full keto. Nice. All grass-fed. These are organic, grass-fed. I got Look at that, dude. Organic, not organic, but this is grass fed. 100% always grass fed and finished. Pre beef New York strip steak. These were $10. 10 bucks we ain't bad. We went to a restaurant last night and the menu was $60 in the hotel for a freaking New York strip. 
plus another what 20 percent for tip for the tip so you're looking at like 80 bucks we're gonna eat like kings here and we get grass-fed food we got, we got that's the ground beef 100 percent organic grass-fed ground beef nice on the road in the hotel ground anywhere 100 percent delivered what boy stew me this was six dollars a pound grass-fed 100 percent it's organic grass-finished beef six dollars a pound this is cheaper than i get in austin but i don't know what people are talking about here this is crazy it's so cheap i just bought a bunch of that man. i'll have to throw some at eli's fridge to make room everyone for their omega-3s we got some wild sardines and sea salt nothing else but just see uh, uh just the fish themselves are from the north pacific probably some some metals and stuff like that and chemicals but that's just the kind of catch-22 with any fish you get this is about as clean as you're gonna get for fish and there's nothing else in here except sea salt water and sea salt so 1800 milligrams of epa and dha per serving and there is uh there's one serving in this can so we'll have we've got four of these i actually brought these with me when i was uh flying in so i got a whole stack of them stocked right here. up yeah so we're stocked up so we'll be able to snack on these get our omega-3s And again, like you said, you're probably concerned about how you're gonna actually cook all this. Well. The one, the only. We were thinking, how are we gonna cook steaks? Well, now we have a Foreman grill that we can grill these bad boys on. Four servings per grill. The pans come out, you can wash them in the sink over there. We'll probably grill up in the bathroom or on the fan and then you just plug this bad boy in. You got a hot plate. It's got a grease strip on it. Boom, we're solid. We're good to go. All right, and the bad boy. warming up. There's the first sizzle. This is amazing. Wow, the whole thing at once. You probably get that many done so fast. Might as well get fed before we go for a long day. How you like them apples? <laughs> them Applegate sausages, huh? <laughs> Got some beef suet and some liver. How's the dogs doing? Solid, bro. Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. So easy. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit big, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be hard to travel with, but. We can travel with it. You just empty out your stuff, put your stuff in the backpack. No, yeah. carry on. I think these are ready to go. I'm gonna start pulling them off. Let me just try a little. What do you do with the suet? You just go, you just go in on it. Take a piece, cut it, and then salt it. It's a little tough, Matt, but you can wrestle it there on the plate. Wash your hands, please. I'm gonna do all the stew meat now. Nice. And that. Should we bring the salt? No, we're gonna cook. We'll put it on after. Okay. This does get pretty warm. This definitely got cooked pretty medium, so this is like medium well. Ten ounce New Yorks. Lengthwise. Medium rare. Just drop them in like it's hot. Nice. There we go. Didn't smoke up this time because you we wiped it down with some toilet paper. Oh nice. Yeah, it's really nice now. The stainless. Nice. It smells like burgers in here because we cooked them up all crazy like. We got some fat. Some uh, some nice. Steaks are on the grill. Some suet. Making it more bite sized. Pastures. Pepper. Yeah, have some. Pepper jerky. Backside. Weird looks at TSA and some of their jerky from the officer, but I did. we flew it in. I did, but y'all like this stuff. Yeah, it's gotta get it. Nature's vitamin, you know, multivitamin. Carnivore Kurt will have a brand of, of, of liver drink. Some salt. Well, I mean, that's, that to me is like very medium rare. That's yours. Yeah, and these other ones are pretty much roll, ready to roll. It's a little red, but it's not a thick steak. Yeah. You know? John, you got yeah, one? Just put it on. Yeah, just put it on. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Sweet. 
these unplugs. Fed grass finished beef dogs. Alright. It was a pretty slick deal, and for the most part, we stayed carnivore throughout the whole trip. Three team members, so four of us total, and two of them basically ate carnivore mostly throughout the whole trip. One got pretty fit and it was he was like, wow, this is pretty awesome. The other one messaged me right when he got back and was like, I want to do the carnivore diet. Can I do it? What's the budget like? Which, by the way, we have a video coming out for the budget. If you're new to carnivore diet or you want to just learn more about it, you can go to our download on our guide here in the link description of the video and get a free foolproof roadmap to, to just get it, to, to kind of learn about which foods work best for you in the different categories. And we also have a transition guide that we'll send you for free. And you can learn more about my upcoming book. Drop a comment if you've had experience on the carnivore diet, if it's helped you with any sort of autoimmune conditions. Let's spread the word. Let's help people reverse their, their negative health consequences of eating foods that are making them sick. And let's really get clear about what the power of this kind of eating can do for them.